for Mastercam 2024 for model chamfer and dynamic contour toolpaths now include the arc fit maximum radius and output feed move options. Previously, this was only available to other 2D toolpaths. So I've got an example on the screen here. I'm just going to add a model chamfer toolpath to it. So we can pick our chains first. Okay, to that, I'm going to pick our tool, chamfer tool, cut parameters, adjust that slightly. And we're going to go to our linking. Here's the two new options here added to the model chamfer toolpath. So that's arc fit 0.5. We're going to make this 800, which is the maximum feed rate on a hose. We're going to give it a one inch clearance plane. We're going to say okay to that. And when this calculates, you can see around and then it's going to curve fit those radiuses in and it's doing a semicircle wherever it can't fit the, the larger radiuses in or increase the radius where it needs to to clear the part so that's that one and now I'd like to show you the dynamic contour so we come here to machining regions I grab these Grab our quarter inch end mill, set up cut parameters, or even 0.1 for stock thickness. And we're going to turn on the clearance plane and we'll arc fit 0.5 and 800 again. And I'd like to take this time to show you the next option that's included with Mastercam 2024 now. Under arc filter, tolerance settings, we've got this arc feed rate override. So it'll increase and decrease the feed rate as it goes. So on an inside corner, it's going to decrease the feed rate. On an outside corner, it'll increase the feed rate. I'm just going to make that a standard number. If we come back here, then we can see that. So max ID increase, or sorry, decrease. It'll be down to 72, the feed rate and the OD will go up to 88. So I'm going to say okay to that. If we take a good look at this tool path, you can see it's coming in with a feed rate and then go around. And as it goes between the contours, we're curve fitting that radius again. So now what I'd like to do is leave that on the screen, come to analyze tool path, and I can show you the feed rates. So there's our 800 there that we set. And on the normal area of the toolpath, the flat area, you can see the feed rate of 80. And in that inside corner, you can see the feed rate changed to 72, like we set in our toolpath. And on the outside corner, we can change see the feed rate change to 88. So that's new in 2024.